This is Jack Nelson, self-proclaimed man of many talents and cash. He currently sets at number 17 of the world's wealthiest men, and number 4 of the world's most problematic bachelors. We sat down with Jack to take a look behind the curtains and learn about his past, present, and future endeavors, and truly go inside the mind of Jack Nelson. So Jack, what have you been up to since the last time we saw you? Well, Elizabeth, I was finally able to secure a negotiation for North Dakota for my personal inventory. Wow, that is quite the achievement. In the last two years alone, you somehow found a legal way to purchase the Caribbean, Ontario, Ubakistan, and now North Dakota. The people are wondering, what are your plans for these? You know, a small chain of snow globe manufacturing factories. Okay, uh, so do you have a comment about your public switchover to doubloons from U.S. currency? I received an email from Tupac, you know, the rapper, that it was the currency of the future. And if Tupac speaks, you listen. Mr. Nelson, you do know Tupac died in 1996. Allegedly. And you are also aware that your switch over to doubloons single-handedly caused an economical collapse that crippled the wallets of millions of Americans? Touching. Now I'd like to take a look back at your childhood, Jack. Yeah, me too. Okay. I was, and probably still am, the cutest kid that I have ever lived. Okay, let's, let's move on. Chill. So, as a child, you were given a small loan of 62.9 trillion U.S. dollars for an investment in a series of adult novels focusing on and around a fictional character named Jacques Nielsen and his escapades to become a more rich man than any other man in the world. What do you say to the critics who claim that this is nothing more than exaggerated fan fiction of your own life? Well, if anything, I'd say this guy's life is quite tame compared to mine. I mean, have you seen his pecs? His pecs are nothing like my pecs. Mine are much more muscular. Elizabeth, you know this. I would like to make it very clear to the viewer that I do not, in fact, know this, nor do I want to know this. Cow a bummer. Uh, let's shift focus now to the present. You recently self-produced and starred in an autobiographical retelling of your own life titled Jack Nelson from Riches to More Riches. I believe you brought a clip? Yes. Uh, would you like to set it up? Of course. So in this scene, I have just negotiated a property agreement for a Jack's Dubloon Dominion location. The property owners were thrilled. Thank you so much for giving me the will to your house. I will absolutely make millions off of this. <laughs> Hooray! Yeah, yes, yes, Jack, Jack yes! Jack Butler. <laughs> yeah. You did it! I know, yeah. I know. Take Butler away. With you claim this film is an autobiography, but the location used for the supposed casino never broke ground, nor do you actually own it. Prove it. I can and I have. You have no evidence. As an investigative reporter, I have found that you purposely kidnapped a butler. The butler. And stole the deed to the property of a Mr. Roberts. No, it was procured. It wasn't a kidnapping. It was a hostage negotiation. And if it were a kidnapping, it was all the mastermind Grant's fault and idea. I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Just leave with socks on, you'll be fine. Jack, you just willingly admitted to kidnapping on live television. Are you not worried about the consequences? There are no consequences. I'm cool. And besides, we're, we're all chill now. Then how do you explain a party consisting of the butler and Jacob breaking into your mansion and beating you up a mere eight days ago? They did not beat me up. Roll another clip. <laughs> this is for underestimating oh, me again, the oh. butler. Oh. You see, they didn't beat me up. I beat them up. Uh, I think we're going in circles. Let's just shift focus now to the future. What's next for Jack Nelson? Next for me is to purchase Hawaii. I will not rest until I have it. Why the interest in Hawaii? You own so many other states. Why do you need Hawaii, Jack? I'm a simple man, Elizabeth. My father always loved getting a fresh cut coconut on the beach. It was the only time I would see him smile. He was hit by lightning on that beach. I want to feel what my father felt you know, be before he got struck by lightning. I want to own that fruit stand that sold that coconut to my deceased father. 
I want nothing more. Nothing more than the coconuts of Hawaii. Jack, I'm so sorry for your loss. I know. It's pretty coconuts. I think that's a great note for us to leave on. Jack, thank you so much for coming on. I'll send the bill soon. If you want more Jack Nelson, for some reason. Jack Nelson from Riches to More Riches is now streaming on Quibi. I have been Elizabeth Banks. Thank you so much for going on this journey with me inside the mind of Jack Nelson. Jack Nelson. Redco wants their money back.